BBC Sounds. Music, radio, podcasts. Hello and welcome to Moneybox Live, the podcast about your money. This week, fuel bills for millions of people rocketed after the energy cap increased by 54%. Customers on default tariffs who pay by direct debit will see a rise of £693 a year on an average bill. For those on prepayment metres, it's even more at £708. We'll be hearing about how some of you are coping with the rising cost of fuel bills and what you might be able to do to make those expensive payments slightly less expensive. We can hear from Kimberly now. Hello. Hello. Hi. Um, what's happening with your energy bills? Um, they've skyrocketed quite recently. And how do you pay for them? Um, it's meter. Right. And how much a month are you are you paying? Oh. Um, well, I've recently changed. It was monthly, um, and I was paying about forty six for one, thirty six for the other. Um, but recently changed to. The prepayment meters, um, and now it's just rocketed. I can put anything on from forty to forty-five pound, and it doesn't last at all. And your energy bill is just one part of your rising costs. So, what else have you noticed going up in price? Um, fuel prices, childcare, food shopping prices, food and things has all gone up. It just everything's just increasing. So it's all just building up. Oh, yeah. So after you paid for that and your other bills like rent, how much do you have left to live on? Um, I'm left with about £60 a week to live on. 55 oh. 60 60 And yeah. do you work. So what other financial support are you getting to top up your wages? Um, I work, but I also have the City of Universal Credit as a top-up. Mm -hmm. And that's made a difference, has it? It has, but that doesn't really go far still. Mm. So in the, in that case, it doesn't go far enough. What else have you had to cut back on? You've mentioned food, but what about um, your children? What have you cut back in in, in with regards to them? Um, like days out and stuff. And we need to try and prioritise what clothing they need more of. Um, things like childcare, we've had to try and reduce the hours that they're there just so we can try and save money where we can. How bad has it got for you? Um, it has actually got quite bad. Um, sometimes we're at the point where it's a case of is it going to be heat not eating? Um, and it is a case of, well, as long as the children are fed, we can go without sort of thing. Right. And are you getting help with food or getting more affordable sources of food at the moment? Um, at the place where I work at Theatre Wood Trust, um, there is a nourish store there, and that is absolutely amazing. Without that, I don't know what I would do. And that's where you can get, I don't know, say £14 worth of shopping for a fraction of that price. Yeah. And it's um, fresh food as well, isn't it? Yes, yes. Um, it's £1 for membership, um, and it's £4 to do a weekly shop, and you can get up to £15 worth of items. Um, these items are donated through a thing that we call Tin on the Wall, um, which is once a month, local residents put a bag of food on the garden wall our doorstep, and it's all picked up by volunteers. And that's made um, a difference for you? Oh, yes, 100%. Yeah, without that, I don't know what I would do some weeks. OK, well, Kimberly, stay with us. Um, let's meet our first panel member, Abby Jatendra is Principal Policy Manager on Energy for Citizens Advice. Hello, Abby. Good afternoon. And we've heard there from Kimberly. I mean, she's got lots of pressures going in on her income, but energy is one of them. Have you? What else have you heard about people doing to save money on bills? Is Kimberly's situation a common one that you're hearing about? I mean, absolutely. I mean, first of all, I'd say just hearing from Kimberly, we know how difficult it is for people on the ground. I mean, at Citizens Advice, March was the busiest month on record, you know, for the third month in a row for us giving out crisis support. So that means, you know, more, more people than ever being given food bank referrals, um, charitable support referrals, uh, which amounts to something like um, 26,500 people in just one month. So it's it's obviously a really concerning picture on the ground. Um, we, we calculated that April's price rise would leave 5 million people unable to afford their energy bill. So it's it's not uncommon, um, unfortunately, to hear of people making these really difficult decisions between things like heating and eating. And so what other financial support might be available for Kimberley? And 
other people in her situation. So, so the good news is that there is some support available um, if Kimberley is eligible for um, a, a, the council tax rebate, which is valued at £150 um, if she lives in a band A to D um, property uh, then or, or is on a low income um, and, and can be el eligible in, in other ways. Um, they She should get a an automatic um, payment into her bank account of £150. There, there are some um, kind of differences depending on how you pay, but that, that should be available um, and there's also access to local kind of crisis support funds and um, the household support fund so I'd urge people who are in Kimberley situation to look on their council website and find out how, how to get that support and of course um, if, if you know you are having trouble with paying your energy bill your energy supplier has certain obligations to you as a customer so do get in touch with your energy company um, and, and let them know that you're struggling to pay and, and they should be able to offer support you know the third party debt advice um, and if you find yourself in debt already, um, access to, you know, affordable debt repayment plans so that there are definitely steps that people can take. But, you know, really, we are seeing real challenges on, on the ground. OK, well, Kimberly, on one of the things that Abby mentioned there, the council tax rebate, is that something that you've already looked into, the £150? Um, yes, I have previously looked into that. Um, and I am going to see if it's possible for me to do that. Right. OK, well, hopefully you be able to qualify and, and it might be able to help. So thank you very much for speaking to us today, Kimberly.